The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is an interesting cooler for multiple reasons. First of all, this cooler is designed to not only offer a great clearance and compatibility with small form factor systems, but it is also meant to be a better alternative to the factory supplied coolers, such as the Intel or the AMD coolers. The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is available for around 25 US dollars or euros, at least at the moment of this review. However, things can change based on stocks and shipping. This little CPU cooler is just that, a little CPU cooler that aims to deliver a good performance for its size. Speaking of which, this cooler has a height of just 135mm, a depth of 82mm with a width of just 97mm. In addition, this cooler is made to be very easy to install which is why it uses the factory Intel or the AMD mounting systems. The Pure Rock Slim has a single tower heatsink design and uses just a single 92mm fan for its active cooling. The design of this cooler is similar with other mid-range and budget-oriented coolers from Be Quiet. Black at the front with a silver heatsink and more design elements added at the top of the heatsink. The cooler uses a single 92mm fan for its active cooling. This fan is a Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 model. It has a maximum speed of 2000 RPM and a minimum speed of around 400 RPM. The cable of this fan is not covered by any sleeving, but its wires are flat and completely black, which is great for color matching your system. This fan has the model number BQPUW2-9225MSPWM. The heatsink uses approximately 45 aluminum made cooling fins. These have different shapes. The front part of the heatsink has its fins in a regular form factor, while the back side has the lower part of the fins shorter. This is most likely done to increase the clearance for the VRM heatsinks on the motherboard, especially in those small mini ITX or micro ATX motherboards. In addition, it is worth pointing out that these cooling fins are not that strong and can be easily bent, so some precaution should be taken when handling the heatsink. The top of the heatsink has a bit more depth in terms of the design, with a top plate which is thicker than these aluminum cooling fins, and it is also attached to the heatsink by four hexagonal screws. This top plate has a vertical brush texture and features the Be Quiet logo etched into the metal surface. In addition to that, more lines are carved into the metal to add more diversity looks wise. The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim uses just three copper made heat pipes to move the heat away from the base plate. These heat pipes have an outer diameter of 6mm each and are shaped in the standard U-shape to make as much contact as possible with the aluminum made cooling fins. The heat pipes make direct contact with the back of the base plate of the cooler and thankfully have their endings covered by metallic caps at the top of the heatsink. This is a good thing to have from a design perspective as the endings of the heat pipes are rarely symmetrical. In terms of the accessories, this cooler has only the essentials which means a user manual and the two factory mounting systems. In this case, the Intel one is already pre-installed on the cooler, while the AMD mounting is included in the package. The installation process of this cooler is very simple because, well, it uses the factory Intel and AMD mounting systems. In the case of the review, the Intel pushpin system, which is not exactly the best around, mainly because it is made out of thin plastic and if you're not careful, you can break it after several failed attempts. Anyway, to install the cooler you just place the CPU cooler over the CPU and push the pins inside the motherboard spaces around the CPU socket and you're done. Make sure that those pins are actually making a satisfying clicking noise, otherwise they are not secured. Then you install the included fan with the provided metal made fan clips and finally connect the fan on your desired header, usually it's the CPU fan header located around the CPU socket. With the cooler installed, we get to see the main selling point of this CPU cooler, the reduced dimensions which result in an outstanding clearance for everything from the RAM modules to the graphics cards and even the VRM heatsinks of the motherboard. The front fan does not come even close to interfering with the RAM slots of the motherboard and the same can be said for the PCIe slots below the CPU socket. Before we head into the thermal performance, you need to know what to expect noise-wise from this CPU cooler, which is why you will get to hear an actual noise sample of the CPU cooler with its included fan going from the minimum speed up to its maximum speed of 2000 RPM. I am doing this because while the decibel reading is useful, it does not take into account external factors such as bearing ticking on the fan or vibrations caused by the high speed movement of the impellers. Thank you. 
And with a 92mm fan which has a maximum rated speed of 2000 RPM, the Pure Rock Slim reached a maximum noise output of 32 decibels. With the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. The thermal testing is done using two individual tests. Also, unless otherwise said, all CPU cooler reviews are using the Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is running both at its factory settings and frequency and it is also overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark. This particular synthetic benchmark places a workload on the CPU, which is similar in severity with what you can expect when playing a modern video game. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim reached a maximum temperature of 9 91 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. However, with the CPU running at its factory settings, the Pure Rock Slim reached a maximum temperature of 86 degrees Celsius. These results are achieved with a constant ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. These type of temperatures are to be expected, as this cooler is rather small and uses just 3 heat pipes to move the heat away from the CPU. Not only that, but a single 92mm fan can do so much in terms of the static pressure and airflow. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its very limit, sometimes even beyond that, as this test uses the FPU stability test within the AIDA64 software. This synthetic benchmark places an unrealistically high workload on the CPU, something which you will rarely if ever encounter in your daily usage. In fact, only one thing comes close to this type of workload which is heavy video rendering using the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is overwhelmed and the CPU entered into the thermal throttling to protect itself and to lower the temperature. This is nothing surprising as the 9900K is a powerhouse and the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim was never designed to work with such a high TDP CPU. The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is a good entry-level CPU cooler that can successfully replace the stock Intel and AMD CPU coolers. The clearance offered by this cooler is great and the same can be said about the noise output. However, this CPU cooler should not be used for overclocking or paired with high TDP CPUs. The reality is very simple. This CPU cooler is too small and has just a single 92mm fan to handle such a high wattage CPUs. The Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim is available for around 25 US dollars or euros, and for that, there aren't many options available. Sure, things such as the Cooler Master Hyper do exist, but sometimes those can be had for a premium thanks to limited quantities. The Pure Rock Slim is good, but just for a mid range CPU that will never see any kind of overclocking just gaming. The mounting system is easy to use and it's okay for the most part, but it is not as good as the Be Quiet systems. And it is being used here for one obvious reason, cost reduction and the use of usage for beginners. Overall, this cooler is still worth the asked price just because it can do a good job while being silent. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.